Yo, it's Bo the Mechanic. Hey, check us out today. Got one going. Yeah, look here, look here. This is a uh, S10 4.3 Vortec. A true modern Ferrari. Check this out. Uh, you know, this happens to a lot of people. This is a 4.3 Vortec. It showed up. Uh, it had a check engine light on. It's OBD1, which is a bitch because I don't have, really have a scanner that works for this specific. I've got an OBD1, but I don't have an OBD1.5, which is what this is for 95. 96 was a switch over year. So you'd have OBD2, which is like the little scanners you always see people just plug in. Anyway, this is just a quick, uh, almost all the time, either it's got a cylinder misfire, you know, one of the spark plugs isn't working, or the injectors isn't working, or this damn EGR valve is bad. And that's what was wrong with this one today. I just want to show you guys how you fix this, okay? The uh, EGR valve goes right back in there on your Vortec, okay, if you got a 4.3. And uh, it's a bitch to get to, it just sits in there like that. Okay, this is the one that I pulled out. How you'd know if it was bad or not, I'm running out of battery, so I'm going to run through it real quick. You plug this thing up while the car's running and just sit it right here. And while the car's running, you'll see this valve right here. You give it some gas, you can pull this little, this is your throttle body, you can pull it, and that'll give more gas, less gas. And you'll see this valve open and close, open and close, open and close, open and close. So, like with this customer's car, you know, I just took it apart, and I have it sitting here running, and you can give it some gas, and you want to see this valve open and close, and it doesn't, so we know this EGR valve is toast, or the signal is toast. So I went ahead and ordered another one, this is the new one, plug it right up, and you give it gas, and you can watch that little valve go up and down as you give it gas. So, you know, like I said, you know, these Vortex are pretty simple, you know, most of the time you've either got, you know, plugs are the problem, wires are the problem, or that EGR valve right there is the problem. You know, the other thing you can do is try and clean it by blowing compressed air back in those two holes, and I've already done that, it didn't fix it, so now we're on to the next problem is replacing the EGR valve. Alright, have fun guys.